Praise the Lord, Victory family and friends. Thank you for joining me today for our word of encouragement. I'd like to give you a scripture from Philippians chapter 4, the 8th verse. And this is extremely important relative to our climate in our nation. Paul says, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. It is extremely important that we focus on what we're thinking about, that we make sure that we're only thinking on things that are true and just and lovely and pure and noble and of good report. It, 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 what's going on in our climate will, if you don't guard your thoughts, it will make you angry, it will make you confused, it will make you bitter, it, it will make you full of uh, malice, and we cannot do that. We are Christians. Paul says, finally, brethren, at the conclusion of his letter, he says, this is the last thing I want you to make sure you do for me, Paul says to the church of Philippi. You guard your thought life. Only think on things that are pure and noble and just and true and praiseworthy. Only do that. And then he says this. These things which you learned and received and heard and saw me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Paul says if you will pattern your life after the things that I've taught you, that you've learned from me, and that you saw in me, then you will be full of peace. So remember in Proverbs, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I'm pleading with you today to make sure you think on things that are consistent with the Word of God and not consistent with the world. We are different, we're the light, we're the salt, we're peculiar, we're God's ambassadors, and we have a different viewpoint, we have a different voice, we have a different attitude, we have a different way of acting, and God is counting on us to be in total agreement with His Word and to always think in line with it. God bless you. We want to remind you again of intercessory prayer tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Please join us, and we've opened it up for you to come to the dome and pray with us. God bless.